But it's interesting to see the Democrats now buying into this idea that the reporting of the president is fake. These terms of misinformation and disinformation and claiming that real videos of the president are deep fakes and cheap fakes seems curiously close to the idea of fake news. And fake news, you'll remember, was a term popularised by Donald Trump, who regularly used it to criticise coverage of his 2016 and 2020 campaigns and, of course, his presidency. Now, some of what Trump called fake news was fake news. Trump derangement syndrome is a real thing. Some of it, it has to be said, was probably legitimate but unfavourable coverage. But Democrat supporters pilloried Trump for calling out quote-unquote fake news and were adamant that it was really just news Trump didn't like. And then in the 7 o'clock hour, they finally validated and authenticated the document, said, yes, that's Trump's tax returns. And so it was all systems go. We got a statement from them. You know, they started calling us fake news, blah, blah, blah. And then we went to here. Fake reporting, fake news, fake books, the fake dossier, fake CNN. Chaos doesn't exist. Google search results rigged to show only fake news media. An interview from 15 months ago that made him look bad? Fudged. Spend some time in President Trump's Twitter feed or at his rallies of late, and the message is hard to miss. The polls are fake. The search results are fake. And the news? Well, of course. Fake news. Fake news. Often when Trump says something is fake, it isn't false. He just doesn't like it. On May 9th, he posted a tweet that pulled back the curtain on this phenomena. He said, quote, 91 percent of the network news about me is negative. Parentheses fake. At a press conference in June, he put it this way. They don't cover stories the way they're supposed to be. They don't even report them in many cases if they're positive. So there's tremendous, um, there's tremendous, you know, we, I came up with the term fake news. It's a lot of fake news. PolitiFact declared fake news its 2016 lie of the year and counted how many times he said it in 2017. 153 times, apparently. So for all that complaining about Trump crying fake news and how it was really just news Trump didn't like, the Democrats are now doing exactly the same thing. Anything Biden doesn't like or that is detrimental to Biden is misinformation and disinformation or cheap fakes or deep fakes. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. You don't get to go after Trump for calling fake news and then do exactly the same thing in exactly the same way when they're coming for you. Biden is a bumbling, demented fool. We can all see it. And if they want to call it fake, fine, call it fake. But they can never again call out Trump for invoking the term fake news because they worked straight from his playbook.